What's going on, everyone? How you doing? Oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh KV, Lonely Hermit. And today, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. The EBL has returned. We are back for week one of the Elite Battle League Season 5. Today, we're going to be taking on Nate Tube and the Walton Wingles to kick off our season. Uh, now, I know Nate's track record in EBL isn't fantastic, but I'm not taking him lightly. I would never. Uh, I still respect Nate as a battler. I do think he has moments where he definitely can, you know, take, can really frustrate opponents and, and, you know, make some good plays. So I'm, I'm not going to take him lightly. I really don't care about the records. I will always take my opponents seriously. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this goes well. I did prep. I did all uh, that good stuff. Practice battles went pretty smooth. Um, so we'll see how this turns out. I'm, I'm pretty excited, uh, for this battle. Very, very nervous. <laughs> um, but yeah so check out nate's channel down below go subscribe to him go check out his point of view of course as well um there's also a link to all the other coach links to all the other coaches uh in elite battle league currently this season so check them out as well so you not miss any match from the ebl this week um and obviously check out my socials in the description uh yesterday should have been our sleep lock hopefully everything went smoothly thank you to anyone who came out appreciate all of you and of course also we have a discord pretty still pretty new checked out Excuse me, check that out down below uh, for regular updates on uploads and such. Um, <coughs> whoa, what happened to my voice there? Anyways, um, so yeah, we're going to be getting into this one. Um, I'm going to set up the code with Nate, and then I will let you guys know my predictions and our team. So give me one second here. Okay, we found Nate. So uh, let me shoot a quick good luck to him. Um, so my predictions for his team right now are Celesteela, Snorlax, Slowbro, Copper, Jaw, Colossal, and Malamar. Uh, I could see, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I could see the likes of Guzzlord coming, maybe Arctazole. I could see the other three coming. This is just the main six that I thought did really well against my team. Um, so that's who I predict he's bringing. I didn't just plan around them, but I have plans for the other ones as well. So it's not like, you know, I, I, I only plan around those six. I have plans for the other three, just... It's just those are the six I'm expecting. I think they would work best for his team. Um, so we'll see. Nate the Great. This is a team for Nate the Great. We have our Porygon Z, Rotom Heat, uh, Lapras, Runerigas, Naganado, and Zashin. Uh, so this is the team we're going to be bringing. Okay, my mic messed up. That's great. Anyways, uh, we're going to take on Nate the Great. We're going to use Jim Leader music. So let's let the battle begin. Sorry about the delay there. Also to you, Nate, if you're watching this. <laughs> so he brought nearly exactly the team the only other pokemon was actually arctazole was the only other one that i thought he would bring but he brought slowbro snorlax malamar this pencil sucks uh, colossal uh arctazole and celesteel yeah okay so he's probably gonna lead i would guess slowbro but malamar is also a valid option um regardless we're gonna lead runrigus uh because he's a he, for those of you might not know he has a trick room team okay let's see who he leads let's see who he leads here we go he could lead celesteela and just go all out fair play to him i'll probably stay runrigus honestly kind of just let runrigus go down let's see what he leads let's see what he leads kraken malamar okay so malamar's kraken that's cracking. Okay, he's good at trick room, so we're gonna we're gonna get up. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna get up stealth rocks first turn, and then if he uses trick room, we're just gonna trick room it right back. More than likely, I could see him trick rooming and bouncing, um, which that's you know that's fine. That's perfectly fine because I'll be able to switch up to trick room again. So we get up rocks. That's fine. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and trick room again. Return it back to normal. He's probably, if I'm him, I'm probably switching here. I'm probably switching here. If he goes to Celesteel, we go to Rotom. Foul play. Ooh, good call. Good call. I like that play. I like that play a lot. He doesn't have contrary. Okay. I like that play a lot. I actually like that play a lot. I actually do like that play a lot. Um, how bad do I want to keep you alive? Uh, da, 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 da. I should have taunted. It's fine. We'll taunt. We'll let, let, him, let him go down. There we go. So we taunt the Malmar. We'll see if he tries to trick him again. Yeah. Okay. 
So he's probably gonna foul play here. I could go to. I could go to Zashin. Wonder what else he has. You think he has a poison type? Oh, does Malamar get a poison type move? I need to check this. Hold on. Ah, I don't have my thing pulled up. M M M M M A L A M A R. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, Jenny, throw Jill. Uh, poison type move. <laughs> no. He's likely gonna click foul play though. Let's go to Skull. We'll keep that until alive just to take one hit. What does he have for for my boy here? Foul play. Still does a lot, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start this. I realize we have no sound effects. <laughs> Let's see what Story's Dance does. I might have screwed this. We're taking a big risk. Why not? If he switches, great. He probably goes to Slowbro or Celesteela. If he wants, he can go to the other three, but that would not be a good decision on his part. We're going to be plus three. What does he do here? If he's smart, he goes for another foul play. Yeah. Foul play probably would have killed right there, now that I think about it. So he goes to Arc Dissolve. Okay. Throw zone. The pointed stone's dug in. We're plus three. My voice is shaking. <laughs> okay, we outspeed. So we're gonna Sacred Sword. Probably click Thunder Wave, I'm assuming. I mean, I don't see why else he would have brought Arctazold in. Honestly. Does he double switch? If he double switch, I'm going to be really upset. Because then I could have just clicked Story's Dance again. <laughs> so Arctazold's going to die. So, Zashin. Sacred. Sword. Arctazold. I don't think we sweep. I think there are a couple Pokemon on this team that can take hits. So I'm not confident that we can sweep. Um, however, is this, oh, there's my pen. I was looking for this pen, man. I'm over here using this trash pencil. It's one of these stupid Halloween pencils. I couldn't find another one. Man, I ripped my page and everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Zashin sweeps. I mean, possibly if he didn't build his team physically bulky, then it is possible, but I don't think it's likely. We're just gonna colossal. He's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna 100% Dynamax. He's gonna 100,000% Dynamax. He's gonna Dynamax. That's fine. He can burn his Dynamax if he wants. If I'm him, I'm using G Max vocally. That's what I'm using. If he wants the Dynamax. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Next is G Max. I'm writing editing notes, by the way. <laughs> if you're wondering. G Max Vocalist. Unless he has a steel type move or something for Zashin. I don't I don't think I kill here. Come very close, probably. I don't think I kill though. Very close, yeah. G Max Vocalist? G Max Vocalist, yeah. Nice. So probably kills? No. Wow. Zashin ate that. We can stall, actually. We can stall the Vocalith a bit. So he's gonna kill Zashin, that's fine, but he burns his Dynamax. Which means Celesteela can't Dynamax, obviously. So that's a big win for us. This is actually a really big win for us. Zashin might go down here, but A, he got two kills, and B, Celesteela can no longer Dynamax, and we still have our Dynamax. I'm very happy with that. This, this actually played out really well. It's actually played out really well, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to sweep his Ashen. It was just like a, see what we can do. We took a bit of a risk. We took a bit of a risk. I'm not going to lie. So he should die to Vocalith. Yeah. If he didn't, that would have been huge. So Colossal. Vocalith. Uh, Zashin. <sighs> so our safe switch is honestly probably Muffin. Probably Muffin. I could go to you and just nasty plot. I could do that. 
But our safe switch is probably Muffin. We're gonna go to Muffin. Muffin's a safe switch. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Muffin's a safe switch. <laughs> Homer. Homer is slow, bro. Okay. I like that name. <laughs> I like that name. So Colossal's dead. Arc Result's dead. He's probably gonna trick him again, which is fine. We're gonna Dark Pulse. See how much damage we can get off. If you want to stay in, that's fine. That's fine. I was going to bring overheat, but I just saw more use in, in quick draw. That's good. Trick him. Scald. Okay. He wants to go straight for the attack. Quick draw is a pain. How much does this do? Kills. Oh, that is huge. That's huge. That was a crit. That crit mattered. I think it might have lived. That crit mattered. How much does that do? We're good. That crit mattered, dude. Oh my god, that is huge. That is massive. Holy. That is that is a huge kill right there. What's he sending next? Snorlax, maybe? If he sends in Snorlax, I mean, I could Volt Switch and go to, like, Thanatos. But I don't know if that's necessary, really. I could just try and hit it as hard as possible. Kraken, okay. We outspeed this thing. He's going to trick room, which is fine. It's Thanatos with outspeed. I should just go for Stab, realistically. Stab, Thunderbolt. Should I just Volt Switch out? Nah, I don't want something else to take a hit. We'll just let Rotom go down here. I don't want to protect just in case he does click Trick Room. Because that's just a waste of a turn. And he's going to outspeed me the next turn. So I'd rather get damage off here. That was a huge kill on Slowbro. I'm not going to lie. That is a massive kill on Slowbro. Ooh, that does good damage. Psycho Cut. Cool. It's a Malmar. Yep, Malmar. Psycho Cut. Uh, Rotom. That's A-OK -okay with me. I kind of want to send in Wraith. I'm going to send in Wraith and Dragon Pulse. If he switches, I mean, good on him. I don't. The only reason I might do this, actually. Ooh. Is it worth Dynamaxing it? A Dragon Pulse should kill from this range. I'm going to do this. It should kill. Should. Yeah. So we're plus one. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna Dynamax. I'm probably gonna Dynamax. Donadel Drag Pulse Malwar. I'm probably gonna Dynamax next turn. His Snorlax should be able to eat a couple. If I'm him, I'm sending a Snorlax. Celesteel is not touching the field yet. He can. I mean he can go blow for blow, but the thing is I still have Dynamax, so. If I'm him, I'm sending in Snorlax. The thing is, is for Celesteel, I have Lapras and uh, Porygon still. If Naganado goes down, dop dop. Okay, hey, Snorlax, yes. Okay. Um. This thing probably has Earthquake. It might not be worth Dynamaxing. This thing probably has Earthquake, so it might not be worth Dynamaxing. Because I could bring in one of these two and Dynam... Well, this one specifically, Dynamax. Let's just try and do as much damage as possible. Let's use Dragon Pulse. I could Nasty Plot. I think we take maybe one. That's a huge maybe. Probably not, honestly. Yeah. Rest. Interesting. He has Sleep Talk. He's definitely running a Rest Talk set here. Definitely running a rest talk set. Could try done. I could try a flamethrower. Maybe get the burn. I wish I would. I wish I would have known he's gonna do that because I could. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. This could. This could. This could cost us. This could cost us the match. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he gets the earthquake. 
I think he gets Earthquake or Stomping Tide. It gets a ground type move. <laughs> He's rest again. Beautiful. We're not going to risk it again. We're plus three, so we're not going to risk it again. Oh, wait. I should have. Dynamax. Uh, Max Wormwind freaking lowers attack. I'm stupid. That's going to do a ton of damage. Please don't get a ground type move because then I have my Dynamax. Sleep Talk. Body Sun. Don't paralyze. Perfect. Perfect. All right, cool. Dragon Pulse. We'll get the movie we'll plus four, and then I can Dynamax right there on Celesteela. So on the Gonadel, I think that's GG's. Dragon Pulse. Oh, plus four. I can Dynamax still. Should I even bother Dynamaxing? Secure the kill, I guess. I don't need to. I don't think I need to at this range. Even if Celesteel is built in defense. Special defense specifically. We'll do it anyways, just to secure the kill. Um Max Flare, I guess. Maybe I should have done the terrain, I guess. Maybe I should have done the terrain. A plus four. Super effective move from a Naganadel should be killing. SpaceX. Actually, I like that. Let's see. I feel like it should be killing, honestly. If anything, I send in Lapras, because Lapras could take a hit. We outspeed for sure. A paralysis on that Snorlax would be massive. It probably might have won him the game, honestly. Or come very close to it. See how much this does plus four i mean i feel like it should kill yeah gg's nate gg's man gg's that was that was an interesting one Whew. that was an interesting one for sure gg's nate six two finally <laughs> we won a week one <laughs> Finally! <laughs> my god. Oh no. No. I messed up my switch. Oh no. We're good. We're good. Oh my god. I hit the desk and the switch popped out of the Elgato. <laughs> Let's go. We won a week one. Finally. Finally. We won a week one. The audio is going to be delayed. I'm sorry, guys. I messed it up. I messed it all up. Um, That was, that was, that was a good one. Uh, Interesting plays out of Nate. I mean, I don't... I'm a little confused as to why he went straight to uh, Arctazolt. I have a feeling he was going for Paralysis, but uh, it was kind of an interesting play regardless. Um, Zashin was not a main part of my plan. I'm gonna be honest, Zashin was just kind of there to, to come in, maybe get some hits here or there. Um, getting that Swords Dance off in front of Malamar, or when Malamar switched, that was big. That was really, really big. Uh, I think he was expecting a Fairy-type move, and it was I think it was a good call on my part to uh, to hit the... Um, the uh, swords dance expecting to switch so gg's nate again check out his channel down below so you can go watch his point of view on this match maybe get some reasoning behind some of his decisions and all that good stuff you know watching other perspective is always great um so definitely go check his channel out check out all the other coaches in the description go subscribe to them um of course check out the elite battle league channel as well for those of you who might not know i do videos over there covering the elite battle league week so if you're interested in this also, check out the Elite Battle League channel. That should be down below as well. And, of course, check out my Twitter, my Discord, and all that good stuff. Follow, subscribe, and subscribe. It's talk. Greatly appreciate it. And, of course, be sure to share social friends, family, everyone you know. Let people know only here on Twitter. See you guys in the next one. Bye.